Hey guys, so here's the TLS twin leading shoe brake plate that I was talking about in my last video. Um, yeah, it's in great condition. Okay, so it's not shiny and polished yet. Um, and I'm not even sure I'm going to do that because, uh, again, I'm going with more of a sort of a period cafe racer look. So I don't want anything too shiny, especially because where do you stop, right? You, you shine one thing and the next thing you know, everything else looks like it needs some work. So, yeah, very happy with this. A special shout out of thanks to my friend Doug who found this brake for me and um, I'm extremely grateful it's in great condition and I think it's gonna look absolutely terrific on my bike so thank you Doug the mesh looks original the pads look okay I'll probably change those you know all the internals will be taken care of and I just love this bit here that screen there is great and again I might just clean stuff it's even got the backing plate on the inside as well of that other screen so this is on the inside uh, you know you can tell it just needs a little bit of TLC but very very pleased with that and I don't know if you remember but this is one of the sliders that came with the bike as part of the parts and uh, this has the uh, stay bracket here that fits just here as well so that when that's fitted ultimately oop, you'll see that holds that is like a, a torque stay there for that bracket and um, there's really not much that distinguishes this I guess between this and the disc brake slider just that arm I hope um, and then at the top I've got some uh, seals and then some shrouds there as well and that's as far as I'm going I do have some ears but I don't think I'm going to put those on because I'm actually contemplating putting some uh, drop handlebars onto the bike similar to this but you'll see they're actually attached at the head with the handlebar brackets what I'm going to do instead actually is get some uh, clip-ons so yeah see what they look like 